Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be running through my favorite user-friendly and just very practical makeup brands or their products. Some of these brands are exclusively just very user-friendly. Some of these brands just have some user-friendly and really practical products within the line. So I have quite a few to talk about. I'm just going to jump into it. The first brand I think is probably one of the most user-friendly brands on the market right now, and that's Nude Sticks. Nude Sticks is an all-stick makeup brand. They're recently coming out with some non-stick formula, non-stick, like, like bakeware. They've recently launched some products that aren't in stick form, but the majority of their products are. So a few of my favorites from the Nude Sticks line. Number one, the Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. I was on the fence when I first tried this because it is very light coverage. It's a sheer to light coverage formula. But the reason I like this is not necessarily for the coverage or for the overall look. It's actually for the formula in the sense that it can be reapplied throughout the day and never look cakey, never look creasy and crepey on the skin. It's just one of those formulas I can literally take it right now put it on my chin, rub it in with my finger, and it looks fine. I mean, it's it, it's you can touch up with it multiple times throughout the day, and you're not going to have any issues with it. It's very smoothing. Uh, I'm wearing it on my skin today, and overall, it gives a nice light medium coverage. Now, if you're into products that actually have a lot of pigment and a lot of coverage, this is not going to be for you. But overall, the formula is just very soft and it does have a nice kind of blurring effect to the skin. Their second product that I really love, and I've been raving about these for a couple of years now, are their lip and cheek pencils. These are very versatile because obviously they can be used on multiple places, on your lips and your cheeks. They have three different formulas in these, I believe. Uh, this is the original one. I've just got one here to show you. It's called Whisper. It's just their original formula and then they have the Intense Matte, which obviously are just a very matte formula. And then the last formula are glossy. They're just, they have like more of a glossy finish to them. So they come in a ton of shades. You can use them on your lips, your cheeks. Sometimes I use them on my eyes, even though I know like you're probably not supposed to do that, but who says? Who says? Overall, just a really good multi-purpose formula. I think they make some great colors as well. And I'm just a really big fan of these. The last product that I really enjoy are their Magnetic Matte Eye Colors. I haven't tried the ones that have shimmer. I only have the ones that are matte. I'm currently wearing the shade Fig on my eye right now. These are gorgeous. You can manipulate them very easily. They can be blended out. They can be intensified. They can be sheared out. So it's just a very uh, universal formula that, like I said, you can just manipulate with your hands or with a brush. They actually, in my opinion, don't last as long as like a Laura Mercier caviar stick, but they can be reapplied, like I said, and they just kind of have that cool organic look. So if that's something you're looking for, then I think you'll, you'll enjoy these. Milk Makeup. Milk Makeup does some really cool hands-on user-friendly products. My favorite is their matte bronzer. I, I mean, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I use this in almost every single video. It is such a good cream bronzer, blends into the skin seamlessly. Sometimes I use it without even putting foundation on and it just, it just looks bronzy and healthy and it just blends into the skin so nicely. So this is one of my favorites from them. They also do some really good cream eyeshadows. These are their um, eye pigments. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, just their eye pigments one and done product, put them on your finger, slide them over the eye, instantly you have the most gorgeous sheen ever. And these also last so well. Once they've dried down, they're dry, they're not going anywhere. So yeah, if you're the type of person that just kind of likes a one to two shadow look and something that you can apply with your fingers, Mm, these are really good as well. And then lastly, they do some really cool skincare products, something I like using as a primer. Um, I'm really not into traditional primers, so this is something that I use a lot. It's their cooling water stick. And it just kind of hydrates the skin and preps it for makeup. It has this 
ultra cold cooling effect so I feel like it really wakes up the skin so just a really cool product you can throw on before makeup and it hydrates the skin so yeah if you've never checked out milk makeup they do cream blushes they do uh, really cool brow products just a lot of just kind of like hip in I sound like a mom that's trying to fit in with my teenage daughter right now, but you get what I'm saying. They just have very in products. Uh, and again, a lot of the products, you don't even need brushes to apply. So practical, user friendly. It would be completely inappropriate for me to do this video and not talk about Glossier. Glossier, that is their brand. User friendly, natural, just really nice organic makeup products. So, and I don't mean organic in the sense like organic ingredients. I just mean in the sense of like an organic natural look. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't tried all of Glossier products, but the ones that I have tried, I do really enjoy. The first is one of their more controversial products and that's their Perfecting Skin Tint. A lot of people don't like this product because it has no coverage. Um, that's simply it. It is what the name says. It is a skin tint. So it gives your skin a tint of color. You know, you, like do you get what, what the name is now? I think a lot of people when this first came out kind of thought that it was going to be like a light coverage tinted moisturizer and it's really not. It actually just gives your skin color and kind of like a youthful radiance and that's it. I really enjoy mine. I like wearing it in the summertime. I don't really pull it out in the wintertime. It's very much a product you can throw on your hands and then just kind of, you know, blend into the skin and it's just going to blend in super easily. I like to mix it in with my moisturizer and kind of create just like a tinted moisturizer look. But if you're into coverage, this is definitely not for you. Uh, but if you're into products that sit really nicely on the skin and give you some color and radiance, this is a good one to check into. Another one of their products that is really nice and uh, a lot of people really rave about this product are their cloud paints. So these are their cream blushes. These, um, I, I prefer another cream blush, which most of you know which one. I'm gonna talk about it after this. But these are nice cream blushes. They can be mixed, the colors can be mixed, and you can kind of create your own custom color with these. I think that they are really cute and kind of fun. If you're just into that Glossier vibe, this is something that you'll want to check out. Last but not least, we have Boy Brow, which we all know is my number one obsession. I cannot do my eyebrows without this. It's their Fiber Brow Gel, and it is just the shit, to be completely honest. <laughs> Nothing compares to this, in my opinion. Um, if you like full voluminous brows and you kind of like that pushed up bushy brow effect, this is going to give you that. I absolutely love it. I think it's a phenomenal product, very easy to use. And uh, if there's just one thing I would say to try from Glossier, this. So I haven't been able to keep my mouth shut about Daniel Sandler since I tried his products. And of course I have to throw them in here because they are the ultimate user-friendly blushes or his, his blushes are the ultimate user-friendly blushes. So uh, his watercolor blushes, these are just phenomenal. I have recently acquired a few more since talking about these last. Daniel Sandler, listen, he actually messaged me on his personal account and sent me some of his favorite shades and then a couple that I had picked out and I was just floored. I couldn't believe it. So these are very water liquid based blushes. Uh, you have to practice with them if you've never used a liquid blush before. I think a lot of people, I think this product is misunderstood from a lot of people who have tried it in the past and didn't really understand how to use it. Uh, but it's just, I have, I have like three colors on my face today. Um, it's phenomenal. They're phenomenal blushes. Once they're on, they don't come off. They last all day and they just look so healthy and radiant. I cannot rave about them enough. He actually sent me his cream watercolor bronzer, which I didn't even know was a thing. So this is a cream formula. Wearing it today, as usual, I just like, I just load it all up on my face when it comes to these products. But this is just a really nice glowing cream bronzer. Uh, very portable, very user-friendly. I just take my little hourglass 
uh, brush here, dip it in, and throw it on. Mm. Let's talk about a couple of drugstore products that I use on the reg and I think are very user-friendly. Uh, Neutrogena has recently come out with a lot of really good stick products. They have their Hydro Boost Hydrating Stick Foundation. This is a nice light coverage foundation. It goes on really smooth. Uh, I have been using the darker colors as kind of like a contour shade. And just overall from the stick foundation formulas I've tried at the drugstore, this is definitely one of the ones that I think is the better formulas. I wouldn't say overall it's a complete game changer or favorite, but if you'd like a nice light coverage and you like something that's hydrating, this is a good drugstore option. They also came out with their Hydro Boost Illuminators. I really like these. Um, I am wearing Moonstone today on my cheeks. I've just got a little bit on. It's a pretty high shine um, highlighter for a drugstore product. And then they also have, I, or I also have Rose Gold. Rose Gold is really gorgeous as well. It actually would look really nice with this cream bronzer I've got on right now, but I think I have enough glow going on. So yeah, these are really good cream highlighters at the drugstore. I feel like I struggle to find cream products at the drugstore that really stand out to me, and I actually really enjoy these. Almay Velvet Foil Eyeshadows. These are a recent discovery within the past like four to five months. I love the shade Cupid's Glaze. This again is kind of like a one and done product. You put a little bit on your finger, throw it on your eye, blend it in, and you're done, especially with this particular color. Now, I haven't had the best of luck with a few of the other shades. The only other one I really enjoy is Golden Vibes. I've tried probably about four or five, and the others are just kind of like okay, but these two are the ones that really stand out to me. Uh, so if you're looking for a good drugstore cream shadow, one and done product, these are nice. Keeping on the drugstore eyeshadow roll, if you missed my video from this past week or just a couple days ago actually, CoverGirl released cream eyeshadow sticks that are identical dupes for Laura Mercier caviar sticks. We all know I live and die by a good Laura caviar stick, but CoverGirl did indeed dupe those and a lot of the shades. The formula is awesome on these. They're really long wearing and they actually have some really gorgeous shades. So these can be uh, one and done products or they can kind of be built up. You can layer with these. There are three matte colors and then uh, five like shimmer metallic shades. So you can kind of mix and match with those. Whereas the Almay ones, all of these are pretty much like a metallic or shimmery finish. Uh, so yeah, I would say these might be a little bit more practical for those of you who want to create an actual like full on eye look. But overall, for like $8.99 a piece compared to a caviar stick, which is about $29 a piece, these are just as close as it gets. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy CoverGirl launched these bad boys. Charlotte Tilbury, um, I wouldn't categorize as a fully functional user-friendly brand, but she makes a hell of a lot of products that can just be applied with your hands or that are just so emollient and easy to apply. Uh, eye products, there are two eye products that she makes that are just gorgeous and one and done type products. And the first uh, is her Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadows. I have the shade Jean, which is just like her champagne color. Granted, these can easily be duped with like a matte paint pot. Um, the Revlon Color Stay Cream Shadows from the drugstore, but I will say they don't have this exact uh, formula. This is a very whipped, creamy formula, and it does last really nicely on the eyes. So I do, I do like these. And then I have one of her Color Chameleon uh, eyeshadow sticks. These are really nice too. Very, this one that I have is very shimmery, very pretty. Uh, and very easy to apply. So I, I, I don't know how it gets easier than products like these. And then the last few products are her, the, I don't know what you would call it, like how you call it, her wand products, I guess. Uh, her Hollywood light wand and her contour wand. Ugh, these are just a dream. They are just hella expensive, 38 bucks for, the, for a piece for these little guys. 
but damn, are they good. They just blend so seamlessly into the skin. Um, anytime I'm doing my makeup for a special occasion, the contour wand comes with me. It is just a do or die product for me. And then the beauty light wand is just the most intense, gorgeous cream highlighter just ever. I use this sparingly because I just don't want to run out of it. Nobody tells you when you have a cat that it's basically Satan. Anyways, splurgy products, but well worth it. Okay, I'm glad that we made it through that. Those are my user-friendly brands, the brands that I reach for when I want to have just a no fuss type of makeup look, products that I reach for when I want something that is quick but still has a nice chic or just sometimes overall some of these products are my favorite just for a really stunning finish and uh, they don't require a lot of effort. I know that's what a lot of you all look for in your makeup as well, so I thought I'd just do a quick rundown. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Let me know what your favorite user-friendly brands and products are. I would love to know as well. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.